Hello and welcome to another episode of Illusion Training and Education. In today's episode, let's talk about how to adjust and polish a Bruxy restoration. As dentists, we are very used to adjusting and polishing restorations with a porcelain overlay. However, Bruxir being monolithic, it really does not have a porcelain overlay and that is what makes its adjustment and polishing a little different from other restorations. We need to make use of a specific set of diamond burrs and some polishing cups for adjusting and polishing Bruxir restoration. So let's take a closer look at the Bruxir adjustment and polishing kit and how to use it. As you can see here, I have three diamond burrs with me which are of different shapes. The flame shape burr is excellent for use on occlusal surfaces whereas the tapered burr is great for proximal area. The round burr can be used for adjusting a cusp tip or a fossa. The common thing about these burrs is that they are all fine tip diamond burrs as I had explained in one of my earlier episodes. Then we also have these three different colored polishing cups which are impregnated with different grits of diamond particles. These actually last really long and you can see that I have been using these quite a lot. We need a fine burr and not a coarse one for cutting through or adjusting a Bruxelles crown. So I have a Bruxelles crown here with me and I'm going to just go ahead and use the flame shape burr assuming that this crown needs some occlusal adjustment. Now even though this is a fine diamond, you can see that there are some sparks flying. Well it's extremely important to keep the water going especially when you're adjusting the crown inside the mouth. You can see that I have abraded this part of the crown with the burr that I just used. I have kind of exaggerated that for all of us to visualize better. It's now time to polish this restoration. Now the first cup that I will use is the brown one. This will help us pre-polish the surface and reduce the roughness to some extent caused by the burr. So there it is, you can see that already there is a difference. Now that the gross polishing is done, I will go ahead and use the green cup in a similar manner. I'm going to use these cups in a gentle smooth motion and not applying too much pressure. Now that's the look that you get after using the green cup. We are almost through with this process. The next step is to use the white cup. This has the finest grit of diamonds. This is what the crown looks at the end of it all. You can see how smooth the surface has become now, almost like a mirror surface. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please write in your comments and questions at the email address flashing on your screen. Also let us know if you want us to feature a particular procedure in the upcoming episodes. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off until next week. Keep watching.